Now this video shows the arrow, uh, solving the arrow, what you see here on my screen. This is an Angular application where I do some login, what you see in the background. And I always get this message, fail to execute set request header to XML HTTP request, string contains ESO something 88591. I've tested it a million times, like this one, logging in here, simply one value AAA, it doesn't work, you see, and it always, uh, when I do a push request, it always fails there. Here's the uh, the post, HTTP post, uh, post, a URL, and then there are some parameters, but whatever parameters you write there, there comes the error. The solution is quite simple. On, uh, on a lot of uh, samples which are in the internet, uh, you will find always that they use uh, interceptor if you need a, an authorization. So the authorization is in here in your app, you have something like this, a service, and then you have this Authentication Interceptor TS. What does it mean? This means whenever you try to do a HTTP request, something like this, HTTP request, whenever you try to post and get or do something else, then there, before it sends the data, it intercepts the code and therefore it checks the, uh, it checks the, the, the request and then it says, okay, embed a token, an authorization token, and uh, uh, write this one inside as a bearer token. But this is wrong in this case, or, and I will show you on that point. Uh, and the code in the internet is always a little bit, let's say, problematic. Now, when I jump on there, when I say, hey, give me my token, and we will see Hey, there's a complex token, it's Java script token. It's uh, a byte array written as SFMT, um, uh, UTF-8. Um, and here you will find here, not under the network, but here in the application, you find that code. That's the code, what you see there. That's the, uh, the cookie. I think that's, yeah, it's done by the cookie. You see that cookie and this cookie is a runtime cookie for authorization. And whenever you are there, it tries to implement that cookie, gets that cookie from the, from this, from its base and it implements that stuff in there. And as soon as this happens, it fails. And so when I, what you should do, either you go in there and modify your code. That's what we do in here. Let's see in here throw out that stuff here under interceptors. You see this one, if this is problematic, first do the following, don't set any uh, other thing on there. So you're commented out, then you go to your site again. Now when I check it again, x, 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 and push, then it will not go there through that point anymore. And then we have everything's fine, you see. Oh, no, there's, uh, it comes now, that's the message from my, from my real backend. So it goes to the real backend to also an authorization controller. That's a lot of stuff here, what you see there. But finally it says, uh, I'm not waiting. I will go to a real method on that point. And that's what, what the message says. It goes there and then says, okay, uh, there is coming back an error, but this is done by the authorization point.